ni siku chache baada ya wenyeji kufanya maandamano ya kuishinikiza serikali kuhamisha mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya sekondari ya Sigomre bwana Onyango. Bodi ya shule hiyo sasa imekanusha vikali maandamano hayo ikisema walioandamana walikuwa vijana waliokodiwa ili kulipaka tope jina la shule hiyo na utendakazi wake. Mimi ni PTA chairman wa St Paul's Gomre Secondary School. Naongea tukikanusha ni kwa niaba ya executive executive ya kwamba yale yalitendeka hatujui hatushiriki na hatuna habari yoyote ikiwa kuna jambo ambayo wazazi wanataka kutekeleza mara nyingi wanakuja kwangu wananiambia na organize wa, wazazi tunakuwa na mkutano na tunaongea hakuna kibaya ama chochote inaweza ikatekelezwa ama irekebishwe kwa shule ikiwa watu hawajaketi chini Maandamano ya barabara haiwezi ikaitengeza pahali. Tunashutumu kabisa kwa, kwa njia ya juu wale ambao walikuja wakijifanya ni wazazi. Ikiwa kweli hawa ni wazazi, wakuje waseme ni nani? Mtoto yake anaitwa nani? Ako kidato cha ngapi? Index number ilikuwa nga, nga, gani? Alafu Alex score marks gapi? Na kwa hayo sababu hatushiriki na hao tunakataa na tunasema hapana hatuna vita na mwalimu na mwalimu tukimpa nafasi mwalimu ataendelea na walimu wake sisi tunashirikiana pamoja kama kama parents tunashirikiana pamoja na walimu na tuna ushirikiano na watoto wetu akijibu baadhi ya maswali yaliyozua tumbo joto miongoni mwa waandamanaji hao naibu mwalimu mkuu wa shule hiyo bwana Eric Obala Onyango alihakikishia yeyote yule atakaye kujua ukweli kuwatembelea humo shuleni kujionea wanavyoendesha shughuli zao kama afisi tenda kazi. Uh, my name is uh, Eric Obala Wanyango, acting deputy principal at uh, St Paul's Gomre Secondary School. On 18 of this month, uh, a group of uh, border border riders villagers invaded our school and they caused a lot of dis uh, disturbance among students. Now the allegations that are being brought forward from this group was that the school performed this mali uh, in the recently released uh, KCSC exams. I want to state categorically uh, those were just mere allegations. From the copies of the results that we have, our school registered a positive deviation. Uh, they claim that uh, about 50 plus students registered grade E's. Uh, that one I also want to deny categorically. We have the copies of the results and any person who is willing to visit our school you might visit the school any time and we will accord you all the results that and the marks that you scored so that was the position as a school we are impressed with the results because it's a positive deviation owing with the number of students that we uh, do get uh, from the government uh, the students that we do get usually comes with the lower mark the entry behavior is very low but as a school the teachers that we are the school management we have been doing everything possible and at the end of the day uh, these students have been scoring grades that might enable them to attain a university and other courses so as things stands that's our position those are, the, are our results and we are proud of them kwa upande wake mmoja wa wenyeji wa bodi anayesimamia matumizi ya fedha humo shuleni ana maelezo kamili kuhusu pesa zilivyotumika mwaka uliopita. My name is Austin Ogola. I want to speak as a parent and also as a board member who is in charge of finance, who is the chair of finance in the Sigombe St Paul's uh, board, of, uh, board of management. Now we did an arambe last year for various projects. One of them was fencing of the school, the poor school fence. We were not able to undertake all the projects that we had collected money for. So allegations that money was collected and has been uh, spent or squandered is a lie and it is wrong because as a team and as a board we uh, we undertake projects according to priority. So we had various projects which we had uh, which we had aligned but the Arambe did not successfully go as power plans. So this year we have other projects that we still have in pipeline and one of them under priority this term is fencing the school fence together with that we also had other projects the leaking roof the toilets and many others
So we invite anybody who feel otherwise that money collected has not been used appropriately to visit our school. The records are there, how much was collected, and so far how much has been spent and on what projects. Otherwise, we don't want to work with rumors that money is collected and it is eaten or squandered by other people. Otherwise, that is what I want to clarify, that the board will have a meeting, and then after the board's meeting, we will be able to update the parents on the progress of the, how much they spent and how much is still pending. Hata hivyo, kiongozi huyo alililia uchechefu wa pesa kisema kwamba huo ndio chanzo chao cha kutoa lipo wa sambazaji wa mali humo shuleni kwa njia inayofa. The school from the time of corona has, becoming, has been having because the cash flow in the school is very low. Most of our uh, Sigombes and Pauls are a good percentage. We only have less than 200 borders. The rest are the scholars and we depend on the money that we pay for lunch money to run other school programs. Out of the fees that the parents pay, that is what we also use to pay our board, our pay suppliers, pay our board, uh, board, board BOM teachers, and also other services that the school engage. So yes, we have pending suppliers payment, but we are trying to update as much as possible to make it, uh, according, uh, to make it accordingly so that we reduce on the number of years. And like any other school, every school owes suppliers some little money here and there. So Sgombre is not the only school that owes money to suppliers. Wakati huo huo, baadhi ya wazazi tulio zungumza na wao, walikashifu mandamano wakisema hatua kama hizo ni za kulemaza shuguli za amani na za masomo miongoni mwa wanafunzi. Kwa majina na hitu wakone la nyanga dala, ni mzazi wa <coughs> St. Paul Secondary School. Na kile nasema, ile litendeka haku kuwa na wende wa sasi kwa hibyo na kata hiyo kitendo ilifanyika kwa shule hiku fanyika na wasasi hawa watu watu kujua na ni walikuwaja na mapikipiki na kuna msasi hapa anakujua na pikipiki hata tukuita mwasasi kwa majina na hitu wa Masi Kanyango representative of 3 South kenye kile tendeka hapa last week Atuna fununa about it, so tunaomba shule ibaki, ibaki na amani, wanyo anatleta tatito kwa shule. Tafadhali tunaomba mpige kelele huko mbali, tuwache shule yetu na amani. Watoto wasome na waproceed. Hatimae, afisiku ya shule hiyo iliomba serikali kwa ongezea walimu kupitia tume ya kuwajiri walimu nchini TSE ili wapate wepesi wa kutekeleza majukumu yao inavyo faa. Uh, the stakeholders have aired their views and also had a noble request to our government owing to the increasing number of students' population. Uh, the teachers that we have cannot manage uh, to teach all these students adequately. So we are requesting the government to post more TSC teachers to also, also, uh, to also curb on the BOM salaries that we have been using, the school fees, Uh, to pay uh, these teachers. So for effective or uh, the parents uh, want uh, quality results, we also need more teachers to enhance uh, these. So it's my humble request as a school on behalf of the principal so that the government can help in such scenarios. Yeah, they have been uh, making requests through the director, the county director, but when they post a teacher, they, they always post one. Or two again who doesn't uh, who doesn't fulfill uh, the CBE as the school is so the population is large and the teachers currently we have around TSC teachers 12 against a population of 540 it's not easy our school is a three string and these 15 teachers cannot teach those classes adequately so we rely on the BOM teachers to come in and sort the needs <laughs> Kama wasemavi wa Swahili, chungu kinjike moto ukisha waka. Moto wa mandamano ya wikijana inapoendelea kuwaka, basi bodi simamizi ya shule hii imetoa kauli yake. Hivyo basi, swali ni je, asemaye ukweli ni nani? Brian Andrew Nyakwar Brown TV.